This is your production sheet. And what we do is just take your menu from uh, Tuesday and put it in a spreadsheet. And it'll match the numbers that you did as far as the forecast goes when you were editing the menu. And you can further uh, refine your forecast here if you'd like to. So if there's a particular item that you want to do more of, I can just change it and uh, it'll change that forecast. So this is going to scale your recipes and affect your shopping list to, to what you tell it. Up here at the top, there's a note here that says click on the gear icon within the forecast field to set default values. If you want a particular recipe to always default to the same forecast numbers, you can do that. Typically, you'll do it on the always available because always available, you are going to have an average that you typically do. You don't want to have to forecast that every day. So um, if I go to my always available and do the berry jello, for example, and I click on this icon, and let's say I think that five people on average each day will ask for that uh, for that uh, jello. And you'll notice there that it says five, and it's grayed out. Gray means that it's the default number. If it's a more bold number, that's going to be a daily number that you're going to change each day as you choose. So you can do it either way. When you're done forecasting, you can print out your production sheet and it'll open up a PDF file. And then you can document what really happened. You can document what you prepared, what was served. Uh, this is the only place that you're going to see cooking temperatures. And you can document that as well. When you are back on this screen, it did not show cooking temperatures. So you'll need to make sure you print it so that you can document it on the uh, production sheet and file it away.